Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today I want to talk to you about some lighting um, when you're off grid. And of course, uh, there's always the standard uh, emergency candles. So regular candles like this right here, um, these particular ones uh, last about four hours a piece. And uh, you can always put it on your favorite lamp stand like that, right? <laughs> At any rate, yeah, candles. Um, this is a hundred hundred hour candle too. So um, there are candles, but today specifically, I want to talk to you about the old fashioned lantern. And this is the uh, the the fear hand or the fiery hand. Uh, excuse uh, the language barrier here, but it's a it's a German made product. Um, it actually has West Germany stamped on it, but I think it is just made in normal Germany. I don't think this particular one, it's in the cobalt. Uh, it's called the, uh, I believe it's a 262 model, and um, it is a uh, paraffin oil lamp, right? And so, yeah, you need, you need fuel for it. Um, you could get some very clarified uh, kerosene as well, but I, I just prefer the paraffin because it's somewhat odorless and, and fairly clear. So, and uh, of course, cleaner burning. And so, yeah, I want to quickly talk to you about um, this particular lantern and how it works. And so let me, let me bring you up closer. Let me see if I can get two hands on it here. All right. So, um... Yeah, so this particular uh, lantern here is made in Germany, and you can clean out the uh, the the top, the glass portion by lifting uh, the top part up, and then you can just swing it down like that, and then you can clean the glass, right? Or when you're trying to light it, what you can do is you can flick this little um, uh, left-handed, uh, and I call it a switch, I guess, but just a lever. And of course, this actually, this dial here adjusts the uh, length of the of um, the um, the wick. And of course, uh, this is this is where you open and uh, put the fuel in. Also, to get the wick out, uh, when you change the wick or trim it, you need to sw uh, swing this portion of it out like so, and then you can take the whole mechanism off. And of course, to put it back in, you just slide it back in, and then now it's held in place. So uh, to light it, what you do is you want to lift this up, and you get something that will light it. And in this case, I have an electric spark arrestor here. And so let me try to do that and light it for you. Uh, let me try this again. Uh, you know what? Let me put the wick out a little bit. Okay. There we go. So anyway, now you see it. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and don't want to smoke this baby up. So see it's smoking right now. So what you want to do is turn that flame down. Okay, and you can adjust the flame height like that. And so, yeah, that's uh, how you uh, turn this lantern on. And you can see right there from the background uh, that it's on. And it gives a decent amount of light. Um, you can always crank up the, uh, the wick here and give more light, like so. As you can see, it getting brighter and brighter. And you can really crank it up or tone it down and get a longer burn. Uh, I usually like to leave it fairly low because I like a long-term long burn on this and it gives plenty of light. For this video, I am using some external light source, but you can see it's a pretty nice candle uh, and, a, and a pretty nice lamp. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead and light this candle. I have one here give you an idea how it compares to a regular um, emergency candle. So, yeah, use this thing again. Use all this camera work, but anyway, there you go. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, you want to go ahead and invest in a lamp like this. And of course, you always want to keep that oil in your lamp, right? Um, oil in my lamp, and in this case. And uh, you want to maintain that wick. You can always trim it down and, of course, have extra wicks uh, so that you can go ahead and put it into this unit. Um, this particular one, like I said, is the uh, Fire Hand or Friere Hand, however you want to pronounce it, Model 262. Uh, it's the baby uh, lantern. It measures about 10 inches high. Um, and, of course, it has a handle so you can actually take it outside and, you know, go outside with it and use it as a lantern. And it is windproof. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a great little lamp. Uh, make sure you get plenty of um, lamp oil, paraffin. 
And of course, uh, yeah, you can never go wrong with these emergency uh, candles or even regular candles, right? Like these guys. Alrighty. Shalom.